I, I'm actually genuinely not just saying this for camp. I'm really impressed with this. It's nice, really nice. Yeah, I'm Carl Kopinski from Nottingham in England, sort of fine artist originally, then I went on to work for various games companies and now I'm a member of Super Annie. Yeah, it was a big honour, really. They asked me, I think only last year, but Hyunjin said, oh, I've been wanting to ask you for five years or something, but I was scared you'd say no. And I was like, <laughs> am I going to say no? <laughs> <laughs> but so it's great and it, it's nice as well because sometimes you go to events and you're kind of on your own and you go around and try to meet up with the guys you know but with this you have like a your own little sort of team of support but I just was super into drawing from an early age and uh, and then I Developed more and more, and as a as a child at school, people were always saying, "Oh, you know, you're, you're the best drawer in the class." So it was just my thing then. Um, and I had a long period at university where things went pretty bad. I was pretty disillusioned, and I chose a bad course and and really struggled. And afterwards, I think it filled me with a lot of energy and passion to, to do something because I was kind of lost for, for a few years I didn't know where to go so when I left uh, uni and got, found myself in a better situation I was really pushing hard and, and I felt like I had to learn all the things that they I thought they would teach me at university but they didn't so I was like super super intense learning period so I, and that, I, I, I found a job at a place in the UK in Nottingham called Games Workshop and with a great team of artists. So for four years I was like learning super fast and then from there it's just, I'm still, I still wake up thinking it's a dream, something's going to go wrong, you know, because I feel so lucky. I've, I've worked really hard, but there's been so much luck and for, fortunate events in my life that have helped. So. Uh, for me, I don't know. I think I like uh, probably oil painting and uh, portraiture, really, is the, the core of what I love to do. So, like this painting? Yeah, but this is without reference. So, really, I like painting people. And that was the foundation of what I did. I loved life drawing and portraiture. So... Uh, I think now it's a nice combination of having enough skills to be able to invent my own characters. But really, a lot of my characters I invent are focused about, like, creating somebody with character or, or you know, an interesting face. And I like the idea that you can tell a narrative without having to do a big story on the page, but your character can have a lot of narrative within them so in, in their facial expression how tired or and the things they're carrying I don't I don't I have such a love of historical uh, I have a real when I started out a real passion for sort of Victorian painting and even Victorian literature so I was a huge fan of Sargent and there is a Russian artist Ilya Repin from the same period and a lot of military painting as well I was really into so it's kind of a melting pot of those elements of portraiture, mili military history, and, and also as a kid I was super interested. My grandfather was a pilot in World War II from Poland. He left and flew for British Air Force. So I was interested in planes and the uniforms of the pilots and uh, like loved Asterix and Oblix and Tintin and things like this and also some weird Asian cartoons that came from Japan very early, mid, like mid seven, to late 70s but I, uh, and now I'm looking back and thinking I really love those things and realise they're, they're an influence on me so for me my style's a weird mix of so many elements uh, and so many interests that, and it's constantly developing as well like you know I meet John Gee like seven or eight years ago and now we do a lot of events together yeah. so you can't help but be influenced by you know these great artists around you yeah. so it's it's just a constantly changing and morphing 
you know. Yeah. Life maybe inspires me, you know, having an attitude where I try to keep my uh, my eyes open all the time and, and looking at the things around me and, and being inquisitive and interested in the world and, and in, in people maybe. Because I think also in the current environment, the new media would have you believe it's a terrible, awful place to be, you know. People are dying, stabbings, and you know, uh, people being shot and blown up. And there is awful things in the world, but I'm pretty sure 80% of the people in the world are nice people and they just want to get on with their lives and have a nice time. And I, I always think about that. And so, you know, that kind of thing inspires me as well. And I just, I just love, uh, art, I, I love art of so many uh, different varieties you know I think I love Greg I was a huge fan of Greg Manchester who sat over there for many years so I'm you know I see his work in in the flesh and I meet the guy and go for a meal with him and obviously you're completely inspired to paint like Greg Manchester you know it's just I don't know I have an enthusiasm and a love for it that I, I, I can't imagine ever not having and also I think I don't have a pension plan or anything because I don't want to stop painting. Yes. I don't want to stop doing this. If I stop doing this, I don't know, I don't see the point in me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I, am a, I have a family and I love my kids and I love my wife, but without art I would be a horrible person to be around. Exactly. So I don't, I don't want to stop like doing maybe it. Maybe Jack the Ripper yeah. didn't <laughs> <stop> painting. <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. He just didn't find his thing. Yeah. <laughs> For me, uh, uh, one of the things I always tried to do was to, if I if I feel like I have hit a wall or I'm struggling with the the painting or project I'm working in, I, I would often change completely, change medium or, or try to learn a new skill. Because for me, like I spoke to some people yesterday, your your learning curve is always it's not like a, a graph like this. You, the way you learn is to go up and you plateau and you maybe drop but then you go up again and I think a lot of the time this block is the plateau or the drop and then you can become super depressed and say oh, I was doing so well last week and that but it's it's crazy to think that you can just go like this you, you nobody does that everybody reaches this point so if you can understand that that, that happens to even the, the the greatest, the people that they admire the most. They all have this. Then you can work a way to take yourself through it. And for me, it's to change media or to try some watercolor or pencil. Or I was working with digital a lot for a long time, and so by doing that, you can just push yourself to feel you're learning again. And by doing that, it can just take you out of this down and you can start to slowly creep back up and, and, and go back on an upward, you know, um, gradient. Is it? Yeah, like my, again, I had a, a really great book I was looking at just before I came here and I gave a copy to uh, Jung Gi and Hyun Jin, who was an artist working in the First World War called uh, Fortunino Matanya. And he was making drawings for the local, not for the national paper to report on the war, but very much like propaganda. So I'd been looking at his work a lot before I came here. So there's always a composite element of like kind of military, heavy, uh, layered clothing and many layers of uh, equipment. And like I said about developing a character is interesting. Yeah, yeah, and in my head he was like, uh, maybe he's a, some kind of a miner or look, digging for something with some big kind of pneumatic drill and in here he just found, maybe I was thinking some kind of uh, organic life that they have been searching for and placed in the container to, and it could be like, because the message is so much this THU is about the climate and so I like the idea that he's, he's found this maybe a, it's a plant or a flower or, and is preserving it and we have to get it back quick whether it's to the spaceship or to the base or something so, or was that kind of thing that there's a narrative in there but I also like the idea that often when you talk to people they they have their own 
little story. And yeah, for yeah. me, that's like one of the beauties of of this, uh, of, of draw, doing these drawings. You can see people's imaginations kind of, boom, 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 boom. oh, but maybe he's doing this. And I really like that, that you feel like you're inspiring their creativity as well. So, yeah, that was the idea. Thank you.